We're going to build the Romulan Warbird from Star Trek in Starfield. And uh, I wanted to build my own because some of the videos that are out there that build the Romulan Warbird uh, either use uh, mods or console commands uh, to relieve the game of its restrictions in order to build uh, a hyper-realistic looking version of the ship that won't necessarily fly uh, in the game. Uh, so the aim of my ship builds are to build a ship that with a certain group of skills and a certain level, uh, you can unlock all the pieces and then be able to fly the ship around on your uh, adventures in space. Uh, so let's let's get to it. All right, I'm going to start with the NG-6 landing bay from Nova Galactic. And uh, it's always good to start with the landing bay if you have no other pieces on. Then when you put the landing bay down, it will be aligned with the ground at the correct level. And then you can start building from there. The Romulan Warbird has a structural uh, neck that connects it to the bottom half of the wing cowling. Uh, and I'm going to use the uh, Hope Tech Pipes A for that. Then I attach the Accu uh, Lander 11 landing gear that has a lander thrust of 2. And that will help us uh, with the mass of the ship. Need landing gear. You can use whatever landing gear uh, you have access to if you have access to ones that have more lander thrust. And then you can modify the bottom as you wish if... if uh, if you have access to something else. Uh, these end up working though. In the back I attach the Nova Cowling 2L BA um, just for cowling, just for the shape of the ship. And attach on either side of the mid here, I'm going to attach the Stroud Nose Cap B <coughs> for the cowling on the front. And then in the back two more Aculander 11 landing gear from Stroud Eklund. And that's going to give us eight lander thrust uh, right now. So, okay, on either side, I'm going to attach another Stroud nose cap B. And in the back of each of those, just for cowling the Deimos belly. Okay, now we're going to take these two wing pieces and set them to the side. They don't attach directly to this level of the ship. Uh, so we are going to attach the center of the ship, and then the top part of the wings cowling uh, will attach the other pieces for the wings. So the next piece that we're going to attach is the Deimos control station, uh, giving you some more crew stations for this ship. And we're going to attach that right to the top. of our uh, NG-6 landing bay. And this is the Deimos control station two by one uh, that has four crew stations. On either side for cowling, we're gonna put the Nova Cowling 2L SF, just to kind of create the shape of the front of the ship. And then I put a Hope Tech Nose B uh, on the front of it. I tried some other cowlings for that, and I really wasn't happy with their shape. Uh, so, And in the back, on that same level, I put the Nova Cowling 2L. And that should go right there. And then attach the Deimos tail to that. So this is the 2LTF. Nova Cowling, and this is the Deimos Tail A. Okay. Once again, we're going to attach these wings after we attach the top part of the ship's cowling so that we can get that done. Let's put the cockpit on. Armstrong 20R cockpit from Hope Tech. You'll, you'll need Starship Design Rank 1 for that. We'll attach that right there. And since we need to be able to get up into the cockpit from the uh, bottom of the ship, we're going to next attach 
uh, the hab to the back of that. And I'm using the Deimos captain's quarters to connect it directly uh, to the to the ship there, to the cockpit. For some more cowling, I put on the side the Nova Cowling 1LPF on this side, and then another one on the other side. Great. Deimos bumper port aft creates the back part of that cowling. You could use the Nova cowling if you wanted to, of course, in the reverse fashion there. I liked how that looked. All right. Now let's connect to the next part of the top of the ship so that we can get to the top part of the uh, wings cowling there. We're going to attach the Tayo cowling for top right behind the cockpit. And then we're going to connect to Deimos Workshop in case you want to work on your weapons and your armor there. That's great. Right behind that is the Aurora 13G grav drive with 33 grav jump thrust. You'll need Starship Design Rank 2 for that. And then behind that, we've got the 10ST Hauler Shielded Cargo Hold. So you can haul some contraband if you want. And, uh, and maybe get away with it. It also adds a little bit more cargo to the ship for a total of 580. Uh, underneath on that prior level, we're going to attach the Nova Cowling 2LBA. And that just kind of creates that sloped sort of look to that part of the ship. Oh, that's great. Now we can get to the very top of the wing and then go back and attach the rest of the wing since this has that uh, negative area in the middle here. Um, so we will attach the Deimos cowling to the top right behind the Tayo cowling on the next level the Deimos Cowling 4. Behind that, we're going to put the 110 DP Docker from Deimos. Behind that, the 104 DS Mag Inertial Reactor, which gives 39 total power. Uh, you'll need piloting rank 3 and starship design rank 4 uh, to have access to this. Behind that, we're going to put the 500T helium tank uh, from Ballistic Solutions. That gives 210 grav jump fuel and requires Starship Design Rank 2. We're going to attach the Deimos Hull A behind that. And then another Nova Cowling 2 LTA. there. Now, underneath that piece to create the, the rest of the tail, we're going to attach the Hope Tech Riser A. Right underneath the back of that Nova Cowling. Creating that shape for the back of the ship. Which I really like. Okay, on either side uh, of that top portion there, we're going to attach the Stroud Cap A port for top and port aft top reversed on the other side there. And these slope down to the outside of the ship and then you'll see what I did to kind of create the cowling of these wings. The next thing to do is to take the Stroud Cap A and reverse it so that from underneath, the cowling points toward the inside of the ship. And you can put that underneath your other Stroud cap. And it creates the rounded shape of the top of the ship in that way. And behind those, I'm putting the Deimos belly just for cowling shape. 
and those go underneath the stroud cap on the back. Okay. So those will leave a single connection to the side, which we will put another stroud cap there with a Deimos cowling behind it. All right, let's see how it's got that sloped shape, rounded shape to the top of the ship there. From here, we'll be attaching underneath this Stroud Cap A. We're going to reverse our Stroud Cap A again to continue creating that rounded shape. Underneath, we're going to put a Deimos belly. And we're going to do that on the other side as well. So reverse your Stroud Cap A to place it underneath opposite your other Stroud Cap A. And then we're going to place this Deimos belly behind it just for cowling. Now, so that underneath one on this level creates uh, a connection point for your next Stroud Cap A. You guessed it, just like the prior two, to create the sloped shape of that ship and then place another Stroud Cap A. On the back of that. Oh, and I've actually placed these wrong. Because I wanted to create the swept forward shape of the ship, so we're actually going to place the, the aft Stroud Cap A on this connection point and then place the force stroud cap a here yeah to create that forward swept shape there we go that's right you can see that working now all right underneath that is going to be the uh the guns and engines all right now the first thing that i do is to create the center point of this I'm going to place underneath this aft stroud cap. There's a connector for the bottom, and that's going to connect to the Tayo mid cap starboard bottom, and we're going to leave a connection uh, to the outside there, but you could use any piece that had a connection on the top and bottom. Then we're going to place the Dunn 71 engine behind that from Ammon Dunn, and that is a B class engine. We have a B-class reactor and a B-class uh, grav drive underneath here. And then we're going to use the Nova Galactic uh, weapon mount for the front of that. And I think that it actually goes up one. We go. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. There we go. So we're actually going to connect this to the underside of the starboard four top uh, for the Stroud Cap A uh, so that the weapon system will stick out a little bit. There we go. And place the engine on the back. Okay, so underneath we're going to match the, uh, the top cowling um, with the bottom Stroud Cap A cowling right there, and then underneath with the Deimos belly. Continuing that uh, swept forward sort of shape. Right. 
the ship hasn't centered quite yet uh, because we've still got our shield and our turret to add. So we're going to use the Vanguard Bulwark Shield Generator. It's a Class B, but it has 1450 shield max health and uses up to 12 power. And we're going to connect that to the top of the 500T helium tank from Ballistic Solutions. And if you double click, you can grab the cannon turret and the equipment plate. But if you're doing it from scratch, you'll need to take the equipment plate first. And we're going to place it on top of this Deimos hull, the Deimos hull A. And then to this equipment plate, we're going to attach the KE-42 cannon turret from Ballistic Solutions. It's going to deal 45 damage to their hull and 14 damage to their shield on an automatic basis because it's a turret. All right. Then I'll give you kind of an all around of how this looks. You'll see it's nominal with a top speed of 140 and a mobility of pretty good of 78, but a light year jump range of 30 light years, max crew of five, 580 cargo. Keep in mind for the max crew, you'll need to have a higher crew skill level in order to have five crew, but you could have up to four crew uh, from the beginning here on this particular ship. Shield of 1450 and uh, 1,207 hull points after your shields are gone. But we've created the, the general look of the ship. A B-class Romulan Warbird. Here's what it looks like from the top. And I really like it. I might try flying this ship around myself a little bit. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it. And if you don't have access to all the pieces because of your level or your skill level in piloting or uh, starship design, hopefully this will give you some ideas or you might have seen some, uh, some tips and tricks for how to attach uh, cowling or you know how to put a ship together like this with some negative space in the middle. It looks kind of neat. I colored the edges, uh, these edge pieces, the engine, the Tayo midcap, and the weapon mount, this neon green, uh, because they don't really have lights for the ship. Otherwise, I would have put lights in that area instead. Uh, and then color the rest of this in sort of three shades of a deep forest sort of green almost like a military green. And it blends well with the black of the ship uh, as well. The Romulan Warbird has a bunch of these little lights on it because of course it's a much larger ship than this. Uh, but this is one that you can pilot with four crew members in Starfield uh, and have a good time role playing a, a Romulan ship captain. All right. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this uh, ship build, and if you did, uh, check out my other social media. Um, I'll post that on the scheduled in stream uh, screen, and uh, I, you know, I hope to see you again. Check out my stream at our scheduled time, and uh, sometimes some surprising bonus streams depending on uh, how much extra time I have. Uh, I really appreciate every every single one of you, and I hope to see you out there on Questale TV.